If you're still wondering if this airbox really is that restrictive, It's not emptying out. I like the paper filter, so we're keeping that. This is the restrictive part that we need to change. So to take this out, we're gonna have to get under the fender well here. There's two screws to take this out. One right here, and one right here. And then, I believe there's a clip there and a screw there. Alrighty, after pulling this back, you can see that right there is your air intake. So after a bunch of banging, this thing finally came out. You can see how it works. Your, all your air gets sucked in through here, into this chamber, and then gets choked again through this chamber and then goes into here and into your airbox. This is super, super restrictive. I have no idea why they do this except for no reason at all. And I actually found there's a bunch of rocks in here that plug up my one even more. Now, after a bunch of banging, this came out and you can see it's broken right here. So I'm assuming there is a screw that goes here. I can't find where that screw is, but I recommend before you try taking this out, you search for this screw and unscrew it because it'll make it a whole ton easier. I had to do a bunch of hammering to get that to break and come out because I just couldn't find where the screw was. And as you can see, our nice airbox has a big huge hole. We can suck all the air we want in into the throttle body. Now we get the air filter. Now if your filter is like mine, it's pretty much brand new, it has 600 miles. I recommend you just put it back in, obviously, but give it a good tap on your hand like this, away from the air intake. Make sure that if there is any dust in there, you can just get that out right now. Make sure you, then that way it keeps this thing unclogged so it can work better. Mine had actually a bunch of leaves and somehow a napkin got in there. We can get our cover. Now clip it. Tighten up the clamps. And we're done.